Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're at 1 Samuel chapter 25 today, verses 14 through 17. Uh, David and Abigail and Nabal are kind of tuned in here, so let's look at it. Now, one of the young men told Abigail, Nabal's wife, saying, Look, David sent messengers from the wilderness to greet our master, and he reviled them. But the men were very good to us, and we were not hurt, nor did we miss anything as long as we accompanied them when we were in the fields. They were a wall to us both by night and day, all the time we were with them, keeping the sheep. Now therefore know and consider what you will do, for harm is determined against our master and against all his household, for he is such a scoundrel that one cannot speak to him. So here we have a picture. The servants are troubled because it's not only Nabal, it's Nabal and his whole household, and they could pretty much tell that uh, the David servants were angry, and they knew from long experience that they were very serious protectors, you know, for their sheep and so on. And this guy wants to live. He doesn't want to die, so he goes to Abigail. And I think we can already begin to get some sense here of what's going on. I mean, he's talking about his master, Nabal, as a scoundrel, a son of Belial, you know. So so there's, there's some real dis... There's some things in this family that are pretty messed up, and there's some things in this situation here. Uh, notice what you have here. He is giving information. Abigail hasn't had this information, but now she does. And so immediately she is able to assess the information. I guess we'll see some more of that tomorrow morning. But this guy wants to live and he's giving information to Abigail because Abigail is, you know, Nabal's going to go over here and party and get drunk and, and lay around. Abigail is a doer. She is a Martha kind and she's going to jump right into this. Well, we'll wait till tomorrow morning to see, but, but I think we can already see this. If you want something to happen in Nabal's household, go to Abigail. So that's what he does. He goes and gives her information that's very important because it's probably the difference between slaughter and some good things that can happen. So a Nabal was very rough with David's servants and needlessly just treated them badly. And his name, as we noticed already before, his name means fool. He's acted very foolishly. And, and as we saw yesterday, David and his guys, they're strapping on their swords. They're coming up and they're, they're not in the mood for a friendly chat. They're coming up to do some violence here. That's wrong. Nabal's wrong. Maybe Abigail's right. So we'll look into this as we go on the next day. Uh, notice here, as we think about application, what kind of a person are you? What kind of a person am I? Uh, are we the kind of people who people can come to us and get, and be straight with us? And can we give them a straight reaction? Are we people who are going to sit on something for a long time and think it over until it's too late? Uh, what kind of people are we? So Abigail and Nabal, very different characters here. He should be the spiritual leader. He's more of a leader in drunkenness and irresponsibility. Abigail, though, is the big spiritual person in the household, as I think we're going to see. Let's pray about this and think about it. Dear Father in heaven, as we're looking at this story, we see that there's a lot of aggression. There's a lot of things that are coming up that can happen very quickly. This can go in a very bad direction. But you, I believe, have intervened through the servant, the servant who probably isn't all that he could be, calling his master a scoundrel, and even though he is, but he's, he's trying to save life, his own life, and I think the life of others in the party. So, Lord, we just pray that you would um, help us to be people of character, people of discernment. And he knows if he tells this to Abigail, Abigail's going to have a solution. Lord, we just look to you. Help us to have the right character to be more like, getting ahead of the story, but to be more like Abigail than certainly than Nabal. That's not too hard of a call to make, even at this point in the story. Bless, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So there's a lot of things going on in our world, lots of opportunities to get it wrong, but we need to look for peacemakers. Abigail's a peacemaker. We'll see that as we carry on. Well, listen, you have a beautiful day serving the Lord God, and, and don't behave Nabalish. Uh, behave more Abigailish.